probably the right balance of enthusiasm, energy, um, blind self-belief, and that's not arrogance. And I always think it's a, it's a fascinating, it's a fascinating mix, a fascinating blend in, in, in all good entrepreneurs of an undying self-belief, and it's a conviction. It's not an arrogance. It's just a, a core belief that that you know that eventually you will win, that you will be successful, you know, with your venture. But that's coupled with, in equal measure, uh, an astonishing insecurity. And I think it's the combination of that self-belief and an insecurity that just makes sure that you never give up and that, you know, right in the heart of it, you're, you, you know, there is a conviction that you will be successful. So I, I think it's hard to do it without those two things. I think it's probably, um, I, I, I wouldn't have said this 10 years ago, recruitment. There was a period in, in, in the, the rapid growth part of, um, of Biowatts, which was between sort of 2005 to 2010, uh, where we grew at something like 16,000% um, compound growth over five years. And during that period, we started to recruit what we thought were more professional people. We thought we had to grow up as a, as a company, and it was a big mistake. And I think that you know we were fortunate to kind of come through the other side of that. But I think um, there's a brilliant quote that the the first 20 people you recruit into your company will set your cultural DNA forever. And I think that's so true. So, so making sure that early on you, you you lay down the right sort of the right fabric of the company and the people you recruit absolutely mirror your value set your principles and in time as you get bigger and luckily you know as we went through that that, that rapid growth period um the culture spat out the wrong people so it becomes self-policing and people know in our case we know people know what it means to be buy box they understand that kind of hardcore and proud never let your mates down those kind of cultural um pillars that are, that, that, that are core to us so i think it, to be successful particularly to be successful and grow you have to get the recruitment right and and quite frankly unless you're solving alzheimer's or, or the world you know water crisis if you're doing something that is a fairly fundamentally a fairly normal business you make things and you sell them to customers the thing that will determine your success is the attitude of the people. That, that's what's you know, fundamentally gonna, gonna, gonna dictate whether you're gonna win or lose. So, so not losing sight of that for me is, 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 is core to, um, to growing. I think it comes back to, in terms of tips and advice to be entrepreneurs, it comes back to, to my very first point, that just make sure you are solving a problem. Don't get lost in the romance of something that might be interesting, don't live in, um, or, or don't be guilty of what is often called optimism bias. Apparently, you know, us entrepreneurs are, are very guilty of having optimism bias. Try very, very hard to seek out people who, who will tell you honestly the truth. And funnily enough, but when we, we launched in Silicon Valley initially, and it was just before the NASDAQ crash, just before in, in um, February 1999, uh, February 2000, and initially I thought it was quite a brutal place to be. It was quite, um, blunt, it was quite hard, uh, and we failed so quickly. And at the time, of course, it's difficult, you know, we almost ran out of money and all the usual sort of cycles that, that um, startup ventures go through. Um, but I realised when I came back to the UK, one of the problems with British people is if you ask them, how's it going, or how, what do you think of this, they'll say, it's fine, I think it's a good idea. What you really need to know is the truth. So trying to search out people that will be, that will be honest with you, try, try and connect to your market as fast as you can and work out and listen. Don't, don't try and force your will onto the market. If you, if you can get to the place quickly where you can learn, is your idea really going to work? Is it going to work? Is it predicated on other things that aren't there yet? Just really trying to understand that because the chances are you will, you will fail first. The, the first iteration of your idea won't work. And that doesn't matter. It's just trying to iterate quickly enough before you run out of money. So uh, for me, a, a great tip would be Go to where your market's hot enough, uh, the hottest. Go, go to where it's really happening. Find out whether it's really going to work quickly and don't be blind to it. Don't worry, don't because the fact that it fails first time isn't a problem. Do it quickly, learn the lessons and then move on.